Let me tell you something right now. My name is Champ Smith. This is my gym and my rules. I'm gonna get do my dreams and you have to watch me every step of the way. I'm gonna get shredded and you're gonna to have to watch it. You have to watch me get stronger, watch me lose weight and burn fat. I believe in myself. I accomplish my goals. What do you do? When you're in home and you're laying in bed and there's a fire in your heart, you found your dream. Chase that passion. Don't let it go out. Kindle that fire. Why can't you make your dream happen, huh? The only thing that stands between you and your goals is yourself and your willingness to do it. Play the same song over and over to get me pumped up so I can talk and be the best of my ability to express what my mind is thinking. Okay, this is your dream, your goals. This is your life that you're actually talking about. Be motivated, be excited about it. When you come to the gym, come to the gym with purpose, with meaning that you're going to physically change your body composition. Don't be scared. Don't be afraid to get sore. Enjoy the process. Enjoy being hungry. Stay hungry. It's going to require sacrifice, change, stress. The definition of stress is change in one's environment. And there's going to be a lot of that. You want to transform? you're gonna to have to transform your mind. Your mind is what's holding you back, it's not your body. If you push your mind, your body will follow. Don't listen to your body, listen to the mind. But no, no jokes aside, listen. So mental health is so important in fitness. I've got it for six months and I, at the end of that, I was passing restaurants, kinda of like shaking. Like I wanna go there, you have to understand that if you're too strict on yourself in life, you're not really living life. You're going you're to damage your metabolism if you're super strict on your diet for too long. If you're in a deficit of your calories, you are going to lose muscle mass, but you're going to lose fat also. But for all the haters out there, I'm Chad Smith. We're in the home gym, and you have to watch me get shredded every step of the way. Awesome. I'm Chip Smith. Welcome to a brand new video. I just talked for four minutes in front of the camera, just rattling about stuff that was on my mind, about being successful and doing what I got to do to get shredded and bulking up season, baby. So right now we're doing a lean cut. I don't even, can you even do a fat cut? But we, so we hit the gym. First step first, hit the squat rack. I'm going to try to do every workout starting in the squat rack. Get three sets of squats in, three sets of 12 with medium weight, uh, not including warm-up sets, obviously, but just put more volume on my lower portion of my body so I can actually get those definition and more definition in my legs because I'm just trying to focus on my legs this year because past years I've not really focused on my legs. I've actually focused on my upper body, my chest, my back, my, my shoulders, just every juicy part of your upper body that people love to work out. But my legs I'm neglected because my knees have started hurting me. But my knees are actually feeling really good now. And I've, I've learned to squat with no shoes, which actually helps with my knee pain. And I've, I'm going to have to go to the chiropractor pretty soon, as soon as I get the insurance lined out. But one leg is actually longer than the other. And this hip right here is taking a toe. I can re actually really feel this hip kind of getting pulled a little bit, getting stressed out. But as soon as I go to the chiropractor, they're going to line me out. But I'm feeling great. I'm going to twist a little bit, get that lower back pumped up so I can start squatting, and then we're going to move into the workout. Hey, you're really true, fam, if you enjoy me talking rather than me lifting weights. So if you're going to skip through working out, don't skip through me talking now. That's just rude. Okay, all right. I will start the workout pretty soon, but... Here is some topics that I want to discuss. I actually said I'm, I was going to do three sets of 12 on the on squats, which I am for volume purposes, trying to get the more volume in the legs through the week. But that means I'm going to have light leg days and actually a one solid heavy day, maybe two solid heavy days, because you recover after 48 hours. I've not made my plan yet, but it's going to be top-notch, top-near, I mean, top-tier plan, straight to the top. I mean... 
We're going straight to the top right here. But yeah, I'm just gonna start with the squats, kind of move into the motions, start listening to some heavy music, and just just get into it. So I'm I'm planning on doing a lot more vlogs with this channel and just trying to be open up my personality in front of the camera, just let it flow, just have topics for discussion. I'm starting to school pretty soon on the 13th. I'm nervous, wreck. Uh, I mean, I know when college starts back, it's just it's just rough. I'm gonna have to drive. 13 hours a week. Uh, so, ooh. all right, let's get into the work. Uh, yee, yee, baby. All right, we'll do some live dance situation right here. My lower back is feeling like, like this. So, I gotta roll it out real quick. After I roll it out, I'm getting you, baby. I'm coming for you. I just entered the squat mat. This is my warm up weight. I always warm up with 135 just to get everything loose. I don't want to pull my hamstring or quad or my groin because I've pulled so many muscles in the times past. But for this workout, we done squat, bench, and deadlift. For the working set, we done four sets of five with 225. I done this workout, not I didn't plan it or anything. I walked into the gym and I was feeling it. And I said, would it be cool to do all my compound lifts? We had to slam on the 10s, go 155, going to squat it. Feeling I mean, really good, really loose, and just working my way up. I don't really jump weight super fast, but I do go 135, 155, 185, 205, and then jump up to 225. But if I'm feeling frugal, I go heavier than that, feeling pretty good. I love the speed at it. Hope you guys are enjoying the speed edit too with how I'm racking the weights and everything. Uh, <clears throat> and then here we are, 185. This is what I consider a medium weight for me. Now, as I get stronger, this is going to be obviously the warm up weight <laughs> eventually, hopefully. But I've run into knee problems over the years. I've not really under understand what's going on with my knees. But I know I'm flat footed and that probably has so a lot to do with my knee pain. Because I know that your ankle and your foot affects your knee, your knee affects your hip, and your hip affects your spine. So right here we're gonna slam on a 35 and make it 205 on the squat bar. Um, at this moment I was just feeling really good. I'm getting the, the blood pump, like my lower back is pulled and getting ready for World War Three right here. But my lower back is pulled, but when I do squat and get blood rushed to it, it stops hurting. But my, my knees have always bothered me on squat. During high school, I would go super heavy on them, but now I'm just focusing on, on my form. I've actually leaned a little to the right. I've noticed that when I squat all the way down and let it rest on the rack, that my right side will actually hit the, the rack or the safety bars. Um, four inches before my left side does. So that's quite a bit of an imbalance. It's a muscular imbalance that I have. Maybe because my one of my legs are longer than the other. Soon I'm going to go to the chiropractor get it figured out. I'm pretty excited. Alright, so here's the actual working set with 225. We just slammed it on. Uh, we got the belt sideways, you know, we meaning we are in the zone right now. But with 225, we do five reps, and we're going to do four sets. I didn't record every set because it would get kind of repetitive. But overall, looking back at all the years, squat has been one of my favorite exercises, even though that I pulled the most muscles on it, and it's maybe the most sore after 48 hours. I still love this exercise. But you can see where I'm resting on the rack. It is, I mean, I know there's imbalance which I'm going to have to work on. I'm going to have to get somebody behind me and adjust me the way I need to be and learn how to squat in that position. All right, so we're going to do something different. After those four sets on squat, we're going to go in the bench press. Then we're going to do four sets on the bench press. And boom, in the deadlift. I'm going to do four sets of five, 225. Just doing a little fun three combos on my compound lifts, you know, just for fun. It's my bread and butter of what I, what I do in here. I train with free weight and the three compound exercises I enjoy the most, I'm going to take advantage of during this workout. 
So I hope you enjoy. I love it. A double bicep after squat, sun, an angle. Look so little on camera. A widespread. Just want to show you what you look like after bench press. All right, trying a new angle right here. 225, last set. It's obvious right here that the enthusiasm and the love for the game is here. Um, we're trying to be myself and try to be more open and just like higher energetic in those clips. So hopefully I didn't embarrass myself later on when I look back, I was like, Dude, that's cringeworthy. This is the last working set on squat before I move on to my next compound lift, which is gonna be the bench press. Bench press time, boys. We are touching on the squat rack right now. Oh yeah. Let's see here. 15, 10, 12, 13, 14, 24 is where I squat on this half rack, and the 15 is where I bench press. So, and the safety bars are here for the Morastic managers. We're not afraid to get these gains. All right, we're gonna put the shoes back on because my feet are froze off. All right. Yep. After watching those clips over again, I just can't help but laugh and be like, why did I do that? Why did I act that way? But it's just high energy. It's just being, being myself. When I, once I get pumped, once I'm in the gym, I'm kind of a different person. I know a lot of you feel that way. You're more energy. You actually have a different mindset. You feel better. You imagine your dreams a lot more clearly when you're in the, the working zone because you have a euphoric feeling. You All your emotions just... Um, point in one direction but right now we have 155 on the bar we're just going to slowly go up on bench press I, I go from 135 to 155 and then 185 epic epic workout epic right here we're doing a speed edit from 155 to 185 I'm gonna run to the other side real quick, lock it in, get that 185. I'm gonna put my gloves back on because my wrist are weak after 185. But right now, I was having trouble in my right wrist during this workout. It just wasn't functioning right when I would um, go in the decline movement of the exercise. My wrist would just like hurt and scream. So I had to do pause reps on the, the rack, on the safety bars, I had to just let it sit there for a second and then push it up, which it doesn't mean I fail, it just gives me a couple seconds of rest and let my muscles recuperate and have blood back into them. And here's another speed edit from 185 to 225. Here's the working set, the final set that I've been working up to. Now, during that normal bench press day, I would try to do 245 for four sets or five sets of four. <clears throat> just to get the blood going that's I've always trained heavy and little reps but this I'm not really trained like this a lot solo which is whole body workout but during football season I would train the whole body I would train whatever the team had me the coach or the personal trainer had to, to write out for me but I really haven't played football in years I graduated high school and now I'm just I hit college I didn't hit college as an athlete, it's a, I'm a full-time student, but I have a home gym that I'm working out right now. The 225, is this a pause rep? Oh my goodness, mm -mm -mm. that's delicious right there. But after that pause rep, now I did hit a 225 on my third set, it was the easiest set, which is kind of odd because you, you figure your first set's going to be easy and you're going to tire out. But now we're going to move into deadlift. We're going to do an overhand grip with 135. Then we're going to jump to 185 and then 225. I'm strongest on my deadlift. This is my most powerful uh, compound movement. So I can jump weight really easy and not worry about risk of injury. So right now I'm trying to keep a neutral spine and keep bending my legs so I don't do that. Bend over row. Here's a speed edit 
from going from 135, just slamming on the 25. Going to get that clip on there. I'm going to run over to the other side and do the same. I think I was looking more forward to deadlifting than, than anything, so it gave me something to look forward to at the end of the workout. I'm just slamming on the weight right here. We're going to get into the working set with 185. It's coming up really easy. It, yeah, I mean, I felt great after this. My hamstrings were pumped, which normally don't really happen for me on deadlift, which you're supposed to because you work more hamstrings than quads. And I feel like my quads are more active during my deadlift than my hamstrings actually are. So for my hamstrings to actually get a good feel for this movement, it just made me really happy. But it's time for the working set with 225 now. My max on deadlift is 475, but with my lower back how it is, I'm kind of taking it easy, trying to get that, that figured out, trying to get it fixed. And here we are with that epic face cam angle. We got 225, and we're wrapping it up. I'm, I'm excited about this because it's just I'm being consistent with it. And I'm not um, bending my back too much. So right here, we're, this is I call this the Russian deadlift, which I'm going to do five reps on one side and then jump over the bar with five sets facing the other way. Now, does this have any difference between doing ten reps in one position? It really don't really make a difference. But it's just more fun mentally that like you're just feel like a rainbow after it because you just done five reps on one side, you jump to the other side, you're like, Ugh, I'm going to get this. Um, you will feel your back start getting pumped the more reps you do to 25. Now Last step to go get a protein shake. All right, just have a few more seconds to say what I have to say. But after 475 on my deadlift, I can jump down to 225 and run to 20 reps really easy. It's just how your muscles are used to. If you jump from a heavier weight to a lighter weight, you're going to feel like the Incredible Hulk. You're just going to rep it out. You're going to get a lot more reps than if you were fresh or you're just working up to the weight. It's just how your body is and how it works. Thank you for watching this video. It's been a pleasure to be in the champion era. We've done four sets of five of 225 on squat, bench, and deadlift. 52 minutes, we got all our sets done. Feeling pretty good, feeling pretty accomplished. So the next time I do this, I'm gonna try to break 52 minutes and try to get it down to about 45 minutes, which is a luxurious time to just come in here, be satisfied, be full, get our muscles full of blood, get out, go study, go work, go whatever we gotta do, go get it done. So. Thank you. I'm Champ Smith. It's been a pleasure to work out with you during this darkness outside, but we are up grinding where everybody's sleeping. And I'll catch you in the next one. Peace.